After missing out on the title to Manchester City last season, Mikel Arteta stressed that it was crucial that Arsenal's recruitment this summer elevate them to the next level. By securing the signature of Declan Rice, which Pep Guardiola also wanted badly, the Gunners have made a huge statement for the upcoming Premier League season. Will Rice finally propel Arsenal to become a title-winning team this season? We'll try our best to answer that question. Arsenal's willingness to break their own club record and shell out £105 million for Declan Rice shows their belief in the significant impact he will have on the team. The money is eye-watering, even by the standards of modern-day football but the club considered securing the West Ham captain in this transfer window to be absolutely crucial. Over the past two summers, Arsenal's recruitment strategy has undergone notable changes, with a shift from Project Youth 2.0 in the 2021-22 season to the acquisition of experienced players in their mid-20s last year. This strategic evolution played a pivotal role in elevating Arsenal's performance. Declan Rice aligns seamlessly with the continuation of Arsenal's strategy from the previous summer. At the age of 24, Rice brings with him an impressive track record, having started all 12 of England's matches in the last two major tournaments. Moreover, he boasts an exceptional 93% appearance rate in the league for West Ham, playing a vital role in their triumph in the Europa Conference League final just last month. So, what will Declan Rice bring to Arsenal, and how will he fit in? To begin with, Rice possesses a youthful and ambitious spirit, along with strong leadership qualities. His addition to Arsenal's midfield will inject a much-needed dose of athleticism and dynamism, which were lacking as the team struggled in the final weeks of the season. During his time at West Ham, Rice has evolved into a box-to-box -box midfielder adept at pushing forward with the ball. However, he also has experience playing a deeper role for both his club and the England national team. This versatility allows Rice to excel in multiple positions, although with the imminent signing of Cal Havertz from Chelsea, who is likely to replace Granit Xhaka and assume the left-sided number 8 role under Arteta, Rice is expected to primarily operate as a number 6. The prospect of Havertz, Odegar, and Rice, all aged 24 and entering their prime, forms an exciting midfield trio that could lay the foundation for Arsenal's success in the years to come. These players also epitomize Arteta's desired qualities in his squad members, displaying tactical astuteness, technical proficiency, and an excellent work ethic. Rice's remarkable athleticism make him one of the Premier League's fittest players, and Arsenal believes his ability to cover ground will enable him to make an impact in both the attacking and defensive boxes. Standing at 6 feet and 2 inches tall, he also brings a physical presence to the team. His combative nature will create space for more creative players such as Havertz and Odegaard to shine and thrive. Rice's defensive abilities, particularly his anticipation and timing of tackles, are what immediately stand out when watching it. And that eye test marries up with the numbers, as his true tackle win rate in the previous season was the highest among central and defensive midfielders in the Premier League. Out of 113 true tackles, his success rate stood at an impressive 69.9%, taking into account tackles won, challenges lost, and fouls committed. Although Thomas Partey experienced a decline in form in April, he generally performed well in fulfilling his defensive responsibilities throughout the previous season. In his new role with a different midfield area, Rice will be entrusted with increased responsibilities. However, his track record of success in this aspect bodes well for Arsenal. The added security provided by Rice's presence in deeper midfield positions may also afford Arsenal's more advanced midfielders even greater freedom than they enjoyed in the previous season. This could complement Havertz's off-ball movement or accommodate Emile Smith-Rowe's inclusion in a more central role, creating a promising dynamic for the team. What happens with Rice in possession of the ball as a gunner is a bit more of an unknown. Some may perceive this as a risk, considering the hefty price tag of over £100 million associated with his signing, especially since Rice, like many of Arteta's squad members, will be making their debut in the Champions League. During his time at West Ham, Rice often displayed a tendency to distribute the ball to the wings, which could prove beneficial given the presence of Gabriel Martinelli and Bukayo Saka in wide positions. 
On the other hand, Arsenal has grown accustomed to their number six. Whether it's Party or last year's January signing, Giorgino facilitating vertical passes through the lines. Rice showcased glimpses of his style during England's World Cup matches in November and December. However, evolving to become more progressive while maintaining a measured decision-making at opportune moments, thereby providing Arsenal with breathing space in specific matches, represents a potential area for growth. If Arsenal expects Rice to replicate Party's role in orchestrating more deliberate spells of possession, patience may be required. The potential acquisition of Ajax defender Jurian Timber could contribute positively in this regard. Last season, Ben White did not invert from the right back to the same extent as Alexander Zinchenko did on the left. While White occasionally offered support centrally, he primarily stayed in line with centre-backs William Saliba and Gabriel during the build-up before advancing forward to either overlap or underlap Sokka. Should Timber join Arsenal as a right back, bringing a slightly different interpretation of the role compared to White, involving more inversion akin to Zinchenko's style, Rice would have options on both sides of him as well as through the lines. This could potentially introduce intriguing developments to Arsenal's gameplay. Rice epitomizes the ideal signing for Arsenal's recruitment model. Not only does he possess the potential for further improvement and a genuine desire to enhance his skills, but he also arrives as a player ready to make an immediate impact in Arsenal's quest to narrow the gap with Manchester City and compete for major trophies. As part of their comprehensive evaluation process for each significant transfer target, Arteta and sporting director Edu conducted thorough research into Rice's background and character. In this regard, Rice checked all the necessary boxes. His commitment to training is exemplary, with his father, Sean, instilling in him from an early age the understanding that his training habits directly translate into his on-field performance. Arsenal's focus in the last two summer transfer windows has revolved around building a cohesive squad, and this year is no exception. However, they have now reached a stage where adding multiple high-quality options in specific positions becomes necessary to surpass their achievements from the previous season, while also introducing more versatility into their gameplay. Declan Rice serves as a crucial component in Arsenal's endeavor to elevate themselves in both aspects. The Gunners recognize his significance, which is why they pursued his signing with such determination. Back in 2019, when Arteta was appointed, the notion of Arsenal spending £100 million on a player, let alone outbidding a club like Manchester City for his signature, seemed unimaginable. The agreed-upon transfer fee stands as evidence of the unwavering faith that the club owners, the Cronkies, have placed in Arteta's project. Arsenal is determined to avoid last season's success being a one-time occurrence, and their close proximity to securing their primary target before July signals their commitment to sustained progress and continued improvement. So, is Declan Rice truly worth a substantial investment, and can he lead Arsenal to glory? Manchester City, the reigning champions, clearly didn't deem him worthy of such a price tag, even though they really wanted him. Chelsea, his former club, who released him as a 14-year-old, also chose not to pursue his signing. Meanwhile, Manchester United has deemed his childhood friend Mason Mount to be better value, commanding just over half of the fee. Of course, United had bigger problems in terms of goalkeeper and striker, but that's another story. Undoubtedly, there will be skeptics who question whether Rice deserves a place among the top 10 most expensive footballers of all time. However, for Arsenal, the bottom line is that if their master plan comes to fruition, Rice will be worth every penny. His arrival represents a statement signing, positioning him at the core of Arteta's team. At the age of 24, he has ample time to perform at the highest level for the next decade. For Arsenal, who find themselves in a challenging situation, there is nothing more cathartic than securing an elite player and executing a transfer that unequivocally demonstrates their firm intention to intensify the pressure on Manchester City next season. Without making any wild predictions, it is conceivable that this particular transfer could serve as the catalyst to transform Arsenal from a perennial nearly team into one with the determination and quality required to clinch the championship once again after a 20-year wait. At the very least, the arrival of Declan Rice should bolster their ability to sustain a title challenge. Considering they held an 8-point lead at one point during the previous season before succumbing to a costly run of 2 wins in 8 games. 
Rice's arrival will assist in alleviating the pain inflicted by that difficult period. Simultaneously, it sends a clear message that the club is fully committed to surpassing their achievements in the upcoming campaign. The Arsenal manager played an indispensable role in ensuring that Rice comprehended the extent of his desirability in North London, outlining the specific role he would play within the team and the potential glory of aiding a club with a rich history of accomplishments return to the summit of English football. What do you think? Feel free to share your thoughts in the comment section below. If you want to dive deeper in how Arteta will set up his Arsenal team this season, check out this tactical video next.